Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are going to study how many hours pass. We're going to be able to calculate how many hours pass between two given times. And first, let's study again this timeline that starts at 12 midnight and goes all the way to 12 midnight again. So it has a complete day and a complete night there. Midnight is, of course, night time. And after 12 midnight, we have 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and so on. All those hours are called a.m. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and so on, all the way up to here, till 11 a.m. A.m. means ante meridiem, comes from Latin, and it means before noon. And so that is why all these hours, they are before noon. And then comes 12 o'clock noon, the midpoint of the day, when the sun is at its highest point. After that, the hours are called PM, which means afternoon, or post meridiem from Latin again. So this hour is 1 PM, 2 PM, 3 PM, and so on, all the way up till 11 PM. And then we have 12 midnight again, and we start that cycle again. So in this complete day and night period, we have 12 hours and 12 hours, or a total of 24 hours. Now, let's see how many hours is it from 3 p.m. till 9 p.m. We could use this timeline. We could find 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. and then count. From 3 p.m. we could count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours. But of course, there's an easier way, and I'm sure you've noticed that, right? Since it's both of them are p.m. times, they are over there on the same timeline, we can just subtract 9 minus 3. Think of the difference between 3 and 9, it is 6. How about between 5 a.m. and 5 p.m.? How many hours is it from 5 a.m. till 5 p.m.? Okay, 5 a.m., 5 p.m. over there. Now, whenever you have the same number here, and it's a.m. and p.m., it is actually a complete 12-hour period. Just like if you went from 12 midnight to 12 noon, and would, that would be 12 hours. So this also is exactly 12 hours. How about from 7 a.m. till 2 p.m.? 7 a.m. over here. 2 p.m. over here. Notice that this is a.m., this is p.m. It changes. So what we want to do in this case is we want to calculate from 7 a.m. till noon, and then from noon till 2 p.m. We want to calculate this in two parts. From 7 till noon, which is 12. From 7 till 12, we can think of the difference. 7 plus 5 would make 12, so that is 5 hours. And then from 12 till 2 p.m. is, of course, 2 hours more. 5 plus 2, 7 hours. Notice that it does not work to subtract 7 minus 2 here, OK? Nor add. You need to figure it out in two parts. A drive to summer camp takes 5 hours, and the family needs to be there by 3 p.m. What time should they leave? OK. The family needs to be there by 3 p.m. Now, I have my timeline, so I could find here 3 p.m. And if they're going to use five hours to drive, I can go backwards five hours, right? Over there it is. 10 a.m. is when they need to leave. If you don't have a timeline, then you would want to think that, OK, 3 p.m., go three hours backwards, to noon, OK? From 3 p.m., three hours backwards to noon, and then go two hours more backwards, OK? From 12, take away 2. 12 minus 2 is 10 in two parts. And then a word from by Mathy. Thank you, Mathy, once again. Mathy slept from 9 p.m. till 10 p.m., from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., and from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. That is really strange night. Really strange sleeping schedule, Matthew. What did you do? What happened? Oh, okay. 
a really hard problem. He was thinking about a really hard math problem. It kept him awake and he couldn't sleep well. That's understandable. So how many hours did Matthew sleep? Okay, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. There's all these parts. He slept and he woke up and he slept again. So let's just look at these parts, okay? One part is this one here. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's how many hours? Just one hour. Okay, I'll write one. From 11 p.m. till 1 a.m. Now, how many hours is that? From 11 p.m. till 1 a.m. It changes from p.m. to a.m. here, so we need to be careful. Do it in two parts. From 11 p.m. Okay, you would go to 12, it's one hour, and then from 12 midnight you go to 1 a.m., which is another hour. So that's two hours. Okay, from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., and that's again easy, it's just one hour. And then from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., that's how many hours? 5 to 8? Three hours, yeah. So now I have my addition here, now it's easy. Three, four, seven hours. That's not too bad, after all. I first thought that he didn't sleep much. It was so broken up. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.